What's up legends, today is a really good day. Helldivers 2 has just released two new weapons, or rather support weapons, one by going by the name of the Quasar Cannon, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and the other called the Heavy Machine Gun. So I've played with these for about an hour now, so by no means is this an in-depth analysis of it, and rather just a quick first impression review of these two weapons, which I have now tested both of the weapons on both the Terminid as well as the Automaton faction. So without wasting any more time, let's first talk about the weaker of the two and that's the new heavy machine gun. I'm extremely excited to talk about the Quasar but let's get to the heavy machine gun out of the way first. I'll be real with you guys, the heavy machine gun is not that great. At least not from a first impressions point of view, maybe we'll come to learn new things about it as we use it more and more with time, but first impressions of it is pretty underwhelming. But the heavy machine gun has 75 shots which is far less than the regular machine gun but that's not really what gets me. What bothers me with this weapon is that the way it sounds is that it will be a harder, stronger armor penetration weapon when comparing with a regular machine gun. But that's the thing, it isn't. As far as I can tell, the armor penetration is about the same. I mean, it can penetrate striders, but that's about it. The magazine count is smaller, the reload is extremely long, I mean, really long, which for me as a solo player is a big no-no and probably won't be seeing much use. Also, the turning speed of this weapon seems slower than the machine gun, which makes it quite ineffective at dealing with swarms. And again, it's supposedly a heavy machine gun, so it should thrive at dealing with armored units. But no, we're not killing hulks with this one, nor are we killing chargers or bio titans. Yes, we can kill striders, but so can most of the other weapons available right now. The only thing this weapon's got on the regular machine gun is that it seems to dish out damage a bit quicker. It's able to, for example, get rid of a brute commander's face off in like one second. But still, overall, it's not really too excited for this one. And oh yeah, the recoil is very strong and the weapon has no crosshair in third person for some reason. So hopefully, I just didn't figure out a great way to use this, but don't worry, we'll be testing this weapon out extensively in future videos. The big talk in town though is the Quasar Cannon, and boy, let me tell you, I'm like a 10 year old that just got his first computer, I'm actually extremely excited about this one, I see people in Discord not really thinking that highly of this, but to those players, I say you're crazy, because from a first impressions point of view, this weapon seems godlike, I mean, the weapon doesn't require you to reload, you can shoot it, then unequip it and it will reload on its own. It's got infinite ammo, it can one-shot hulks, it can one-shot chargers to the face, it can get rid of a charger's leg armor with one shot, and the craziest thing? It can two-shot a bile titan's face off, which will have you killing bile titans within like 5 to 10 seconds. The downside of this weapon is you will have to charge up each shot which means you'll need to make sure you're not being overwhelmed as you're trying to charge it up. Like if you have hunters on you or smaller bots shooting you down, you won't be able to pop off a shot on a charger or a bile titan or a hulk. You'll first need to get rid of the hunters first, for example, before you attempt to do so. But either way, it seems like an absolutely fantastic choice for dealing with armored units. It's like a pocket expendable anti-tank that I can shoot every few seconds. And it doesn't require you to equip a backpack, so you can have your shield generator equipped just fine. Oh, and yeah, it can one-shot dropships, so I'm really excited to shut down those reinforcements on site. But yeah, we're not going to waste much more time here, I'll be testing these weapons out extensively right now and posting videos on them within the next few days, as well as a few gameplays, so stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't yet, thank you Helldivers for watching, and let's get to spreading some democracy. Peace!